Welcome back. President Trump's push to expand American nuclear energy and one company trying to do just that, Nano Nuclear Energy, securing a contract worth a million dollars focused on its micro reactor energy system to address challenges seen in the U.S. Air Force. Gentlemen, now in a Fox Business exclusive is Nano Energy founder and executive chairman Jay Yu. Jay, thanks very much for being here. Give us a sense of where you are right now and the need for nuclear energy. Yeah, so Nano Nuclear is a vertically integrated microreactor company. We're publicly listed on NASDAQ. Uh, we currently have our flagship microreactor in conjunction with the University of Illinois. So we're building it on its campus. And, you know, by the end of the decade or in around that time, we're looking to deploy this and construct a real version of this. So what that means is the electrification of AI data centers will be able to power a lot of these data centers in, in the next decade. And, and tell me about the demand needed to power those, those uh, data centers. How has that demand increased, let's call it, in the last year? Oh, it's been tremendous. Uh, dozens of data center companies have reached out to us, even some of the largest tech companies in the world. Um, and we're ta currently talking with them and looking to prepare for the future. I mean, under the Trump administration, um, they stated, uh, the president, that we want a nuclear renaissance here. So in order to do that, you need nuclear. And a lot of these data centers need that as a baseload energy production. Okay. And, and Nano's, what, Kronos Micro Module Reactor system is built to be more energy efficient. How is that cost effective? Yeah, because Kronos is fully modular, so we could truly mass produce this in a, in a factory setting. Um, a lot of, you know, companies say they're, they're modular, but we, we believe our Kronos is the biggest you could build a, a reactor while truly keeping it modular, transporting it by road, and um, being able to deploy this at data center sites. That is truly w what you're going to do to scale nuclear, and, and it's about economy of scale here. So in order to mass produce nuclear, you need this type of technology. Yeah, I mean, wh what do you see in terms of the rollout here and how much energy will be used by nuclear versus other more traditional oil and gas? Yeah, so, uh, so the U.S. wants to almost triple or quadruple nuclear en energy by 2050. So in order to do that, you need to mass produce and focus on the infrastructure of nuclear too, not just building, I would say, our microreactors, but also focus on the fuel, the transportation, uh, and that's what Nano is doing currently. Traditionally, with oil and gas, that's great, Nat, um, but you need to supplement this with nuclear in order to meet that base load energy demand. Yeah, it's pretty incredible what's gone on in terms of the need for uh, energy, nuclear, and other forms just from AI, right? I mean, are you seeing the kind of spend? that we are expecting in terms of corporate America spending on AI data centers and the energy energy required how would you assess that yeah like currently if you look at all the big tech companies the giants they're all positioning themselves close to nuclear power plants or signing deals like Microsoft with Constellation Amazon is building tens of billions of dollars of data centers across the US and in order to meet this, they, they're looking to co-locate with nuclear to provide that base load of energy uh, for their future of their data center. All right, Jay, we'll be watching your work. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Jay Yu joining us. We'll be right back. Stay with us.